at the end of uh, yesterday's vlog we had a disaster followed by another mini disaster we were just coming into rocky lock and well the end voyage ended abruptly because so did our shift cable <laughs> for the second time since we bought the boat so we were about halfway cable broke yeah we were about halfway through where we wanted to be and i started going in reverse uncontrollably again luckily to look on the bright side luckily we had met earlier in the day um some viewers that we'd previously met in starport they very kindly gave me a ride martin and emma of narrowboat jambo thank you very much the reality was we had to push into Rocky Lock, we had to go up Rocky Lock, I had to get in the back and get this thing out. Phoning around to various potential suppliers found out that there were none because the chandlery that was at the marina up ahead closed a few years ago apparently. So our only option was to get to a Midland Chandler's and the only way we were getting to a Midland Chandler's was by car and it just so turned out that they had a car. Michael got back to the boat about 6.30 last night with two <laughs> transmission cables and then we were stressed and exhausted and tired last night only to discover that the stoppage in Wolverhampton that we're trying to get to. We, we were trying to get there before the 17th. Yeah. It's and the first yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So we've got, you know, a lovely two weeks to get there. No, the stoppage is actually from the 4th, which is the day after tomorrow now. Um, there's two stoppage notices. One is lock 20 to, to lock 1 from the 17th of February. Perfect. Yeah. One is lock 21 to lock 1. So Starting on the 4th of February. They overlap on the map, so you can't see them both so at the I, same time. So I just clicked on one, saw the 17th, thought happy days. But no, they've got two different ones on the map, which is ridiculous. So last night we had a broken boat and we needed to do a seven hour cruise today, followed by 21 locks tomorrow. We're very stressed. We've just fixed our transmission cable. This is the old one. Uh, we were up at six. We were out before dawn or Michael was trying to fix it. It wasn't straightforward. Um, George kept putting his ball in the canal. It's now 9am. We've got seven hours to do today. Uh, we've got to beat the dark. All right, let's just get going. All right. Should probably also have mentioned that the uh, canal's frozen. To Marsh Lock, Michael's just in Swindon Lock, coming out of there. This one was actually full um, and it was iced over. So as the water's going down, all the ice is breaking. It's 10 a.m. We're just after 10, so we're making good progress, but we've still got like five, five and a half, six hours to go. So it's not going to be a long day. I stop locked. This is the uh, top staircase lock and it's just emptying. <laughs> I can't see because of the sun, it's emptying into the lock that Mike is in. Michael would also like it be known that we've made it to bridge 42 so apparently that's a good sign. And the sun shining. That must have been in the lock. Yeah, I pulled the sheet of it out. I 
I don't know if you can read it, but this is Giggity Bridge. Apparently that I should know the reference. I don't know the reference. I don't know how clearly we explained our issue this morning because we were in a rush and we were stressed. And basically, we need to get down the Wolverhampton flight before it shuts. There's 24 unlocks on the Wolverhampton flight. If we don't go down it, then our whole route will be like backtracking and missing bits out, and like there's other stoppages that we won't be able to get through, so we have to get through. So I'd looked numerous times and it says there's a stoppage starting on the 18th of February. Got two weeks to get there. There's also a stoppage starting on the 4th of February, which is the day after tomorrow. I didn't see that one. No. So and it's so stupid because you, you actually have to zoom in to get to the point. It's on that interactive map. Yeah, you have to zoom in on the interactive map to get to the point where there are two pins on the map. And then you realize that there's. And I'd only clicked on one pin. Yeah. But I'd done it numerous times because I checked numerous times. Yeah. So it's and, the, and the list of stoppages. Is just effectively useless because it's not it's not tied in any way to a map so no. you're constantly going like, oh lock 18 of something or lock 35 mm. where the heck is that yeah the PDF you can download is not useful anyway it's happened so that meant this morning we had like a seven hour cruise I don't even know how many locks we did today a lot at least 17 locks and that was on top of breaking down last night and not being as far up as we wanted to be. We just had a lot to do. And this morning we woke up and our boat was disabled because we didn't have a transmission cable. So the first like hour of the day from dawn was us 
getting frustrated on the back of the boat fitting this stupid transmission cable which wasn't straightforward or easy or especially let alone when it's freezing cold it's not actually fitted correctly now because i still can't really control the boat in reverse right so i'm still gonna have to get in there and adjust it at some point but not until it's not freezing <laughs> and on top of that speaking of freezing the canal was frozen so at numerous points we were ice breaking and you can't steer when you're going through ice most of it was relatively thin and it, it'd only be for like a hundred feet and then it yeah. would stop yeah there was a few locks where there was a good oh, yeah couple of centimeters of ice and a lot of the much, locks were frozen that was much nastier so we, you know we ended up having probably a bit less blacking than we started with and uh but luckily we need to do that this spring anyway so yeah. if we'd just cool. done it i'd be really annoyed is what i mean yeah i think we've worn off most of the rust at least as well <laughs> so you know that's a good thing i'm just gutted that we had to rush this section because it's so nice isn't it yeah so nice yeah like it's the, really it's really gorgeous the architecture on the bridges and the locks is really unusual and and the buildings nearby like yeah. like you go through the branch locks which are three almost staircase locks it's not. not a staircase it, it it runs kind of a unique system of of fluid engineering where the the pounds are actually um behind the hedgerow and there's there's this sort of a, a dedicated pound so the water from the lock above will flood into that and then flood out of that into yours so it works somewhat similar to a staircase but not yeah and it had its own unique constructions and that were slightly different to what you read in the book yeah um but it was easy because they're all color coded so it's like open the blue paddles then open the red paddles and, re and replace the chain <laughs> There's a chain that, that is attached with a great bloody meaty big hook onto one of the beams. And I, I thought that was... I was like, I'm not sure this is really useful, but it looks violent. And there's this um, kind of octagonal, if it's octagonal, hexagonal... No, it's little, an octagon. A little uh, building which is used by the Canal and River Trust. Yeah, I, I think that was cheap. actually the... It's now the lock keeper's sort of cottage, Basically. but I think it was actually the toll... Oh uh, yeah, that makes uh, sense. Place. Um, and yeah, one of the pounds, because there's like a 10 foot gap between each lock, had the most oh, whirlpool. Yeah, it's like whirlpool. You pull, when you pull the plug out of the bath. Yeah. But this was like, it was like, like watching a foot wide. <laughs> just trying to eat the, can't remember the name of the boat of the Odyssey. But anyway, it's a great big whirlpool. Really, 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 really massive whirlpool. You well, know. No, usually when you open the paddles, you don't, you, you like, you hear the water gurgling, but you don't. You sometimes see little whirlpools that are like an inch in diameter, yeah. but but looking down one going, hmm, my whole head could fit down yeah. that. That was a little... Oh, I don't want to get sucked down there. No. The brash locks were really quite beautiful. The view down the valley was really nice. There was a church nearby that had a very interesting kind of crenellated sort of wall around it and very castly. So yeah, and then there was this National Trust property that sounded interesting and... But we just don't have time, which is really annoying because we we were just chilling out in Kidderminster and Stourport and yeah. Kinver and thinking we had all the time in the world and we didn't have all the time. Well, there's this manor nearby. It's a it's a private property. Um, Whit Whitley Whitey Manor. White it's um White Whitewick. Whitewick, is that Whitewick? Whitick? Whitick. Whitick. Yes, it's pronounced Whitick. I I looked at the thing and I'm like, it's not Whitewick. It's not white and it's not witch. It's Whittock. So, um, yeah, and there's Whittock Manor, which uh, was apparently owned by a gentleman who was a paint and varnish manufacturer um, and had a real taste for the pre raphaelite Brotherhood and uh, the work of William Morris. So I'd actually like to see it because the pre raphaelite Brotherhood is something I spent a bunch of time reading about when I was in college. But not this time around, eh? No, no, because we have to be on those 21 locks tomorrow morning first thing. So we've just moored above Compton Lock and it's two miles till the junction and the locks, the Wolverhampton locks start pretty much at the junction, don't they? Right at the junction. Yeah, so tomorrow up early. Very early. Two miles and then luckily, hopefully, we're having a viewer come and help us. Which would be great. Yeah. Just 21 locks. Is going to be exhausting no matter after, what. After a seven hour, 17 lock day, or whatever we've done today. Yeah. After breaking down yesterday. Why do it's we been do a this? long couple of days. Oh yeah, and at the last, at the, at the last lock, I, like George has been quite good all day. I thought, I'll just leave you by this sign, George, stay there. And I had to open the paddles because the lock was like full. And um, he'd like wandered off. Anyway, someone had sat on a bench with a bag of chips and some fish and just left 
the paper on the floor with their fish skin and a bunch of chips. So now there's a bunch of paper on the floor and a full dog. Yeah, so because uh, George has had chips, we're going to have chips. Because we now know there's a fish and chips somewhere nearby. And it's got George's stamp of approval, so. Yeah, he definitely liked it. <laughs> All right, let's get this fire started. <laughs> So, this thing working? Yeah. Okay. Recording. All right. So. Closer. So. They very kindly gave me a ride, Martin and Emma, and they're about Tambo. Jambo. 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 Right. <laughs> because at the end of the day, you saved our bacon. Um, because our bacon was getting crispy, and I can barely shift into reverse. Because at the end of the day, our boat is a death trap. I'm not going to put that in. Okay, our boat is a... What's the word I'm looking for here? Oh, Death trap! <laughs>